American Friends of Jamaica's 2017 Ominberg Gala at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Columbus Circle with a performance by Busy Signal. We finish our two-part series on the history and what's next for the CIN Lecture Series at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture. I'm doing a blacking. I'm doing a blacking with some blackened season. I already have it, I'm ready. This week's edition of In the Kitchen with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson features American Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, producer, and musician Elder Barge. New York's Top 10 Countdown and much, much more. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Welcome to Come Chat With Me. And you know, we are the exclusive American Friends of Jamaica 2017 Ominberg Gala, right here inside of Manhattan, okay? So keep it locked. I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. The annual American Friends of Jamaica 2017 Ominberg Gala was held at the Mandarin Oriental in New York City. The gala celebrated the achievements of honorees Mr. Joseph M. Matalon, Mr. Vincent Oson, and Mr. Cesar Sam Wright. With the Ominberg Award for International Philanthropy, Busy Signal provided the entertainment. The black tie affair included cocktails and a silent auction, dinner and an after party. A man supposed to be honored for all his great work that he have done in this earth, right? Well, I always said, you know, that I'm a humble person. The good Lord has helped us coming to this country over 50 years and make do with what, I, what the good Lord has given me. And it's good to give back, good to help people. I always said, we're all brothers and sisters. And for those who have made it, we should look on our brothers and sisters and help them. Tell us about the good work you have done, because I know you have done plenty of work. You know, name, name a few of them. Please. Well, for many years, I think since 1975, I've been a main sponsor of the Jamaica Independent Ball in New York nice. at the Hilton for many years. And I still continue doing that, but I shift some of my funds now to this organization because this organization is going directly to where the, uh, the needs are and that's what we do what we do we want to make sure the funds are going to where it's needed Energetic performance, my love the vibe, my brother. All the vibe, all everything, my brother. It's nice, it's nice. It's just overwhelming to see, you know what I mean? Yeah. Lots of billionaires and millionaires just sure. enjoying themselves yeah. for the cause. AFJ is a great, great, great non profit. Yeah. And I mean, the foundation, what they're doing is just, is just great. I'm so honored to be a part of this, you know? A real thing, man, a real thing. I understand, I get for overstand, say, you have a thing I go on a foundation, the 2020 foundation, right? Yes, man. Talk a little bit about that, man, the people know what I want, please. Yeah, man, we're just um, booting education and booting you know, empowerment for the youths, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, more, the more unattached youths yeah. you know, they get to one, we're just trying to help however way we can, you know what I mean? Yeah. 2020 is, is busy, 2020 Helping Hands Foundation. I mean, people can check it out, this is .com or .org. And I mean, you can check it out, you can donate, you can help me to help. We can all come together and do this. You know what I mean? Because yeah. we have to uplift Jamaica, because we all know how Jamaica said so. Yeah. We just want to fix things so youths can benefit. Because if you're in the world and you're not help, I don't think you yeah, I don't think you it's, it's even worth it for you to be around. You have to can help and can give back and can change someone's life in a, in a positive way. Jamaica. Sandy, Tim, 
Jamaican environmentalist Diana McCauley will be the keynote speaker at this week's 13th annual CIN lecture series taking place on November 15, 7 p.m. at the Schoenberg Center for Research in Black Culture. This is the last of our two-part series featuring Bob Gore as we continue to talk about the past and present of the CIN lecture series. We're here with Mr. Bob Gore. Yes, he's a partner of CIN and also the photographer of the Schoenberg Center, right? And he's gonna talk some more about the 13 years history with CIN and the Schoenberg Center. Welcome again, Mr. Bob Gore. It's my pleasure to be here and, and I appreciate this opportunity. You might ask, why does a TV company do a lecture series? What's up with that? Mm -hmm. Well, we felt that because we do comedy, travel, of course, news, sports, talk, and lots of music on CIN Channel 73. Yes. We thought it was important to show the other side of Jamaican culture, the side that TV doesn't show, okay. the side that movies don't show, yeah. and that is the intellectual power and the depth of thinkers who emerge from the culture and from the country over the years. And so the idea of a lecture would provide a forum Yes. where key thinkers and thought leaders and people who are key in the business sector and the political sector and the educational and cultural sectors uh, would come to New York and present a very scholarly presentation yeah. and then uh, follow up with an interchange with the audience. Diana McCauley yes. it fits in right with that trend in terms of quality and in terms of a topic that is going to be of great interest to the public. She's a fascinating woman. Uh, she's multi-talented. Uh, she is an author of four novels, which deal deeply with the issues of race, gender, growing up, uh, poor in Jamaica. And she's a child of Kingston, born, bred there, and still lives in Kingston. Yes. And so she knows the subjects uh, about whom she has written. Yes. But her real passion in life, and I believe where she's going to make her major life's contribution, is as an advocate for the environment. And for those who have been here before, you know to, you know to come early because yeah. Golden Crust provides a light buffet, a light buffet, yeah. and uh, you want to get a good seat. There's always mm -hmm. a capacity crowd, and you want to be able to uh, listen carefully and ask that important question you always want to have answered but wouldn't but have never found yourself in the presence of an expert who can answer it. One of the great joys is seeing people saying to the speaker, I've always wanted to meet you. Yeah. I've always wanted to ask you something and now I got you here yeah. and uh, now's my chance to ask you, that, ask you that question or help me understand something that has always puzzled me yeah. uh, because again the people who we've had over the years uh, uh, have been real thought leaders. And, and, and I tell you, you know, um, they have been uh, people who, um, whose names we know. I mean, for example, you mentioned, you mentioned Golden Crust, but Loyal Hawthorne, yeah. uh, the CEO of Golden Crust, uh, was our speaker. And, and, and Loyal um, had a passionate presentation. You know, he, the story of how he went from a baker's son Right. To having uh, one of the largest franchise restaurant right, no. firms, you know, uh, in, in, in America. And it, it was filled with wonderful tidbits about uh, how family pulling together can accomplish yeah. a big dream. Greg Christie uh, talked about um, integrity, fighting corruption, yeah. how to keep those in whom we entrust the powers of government, how do we keep them honest? How do we create rules so that um, they know what to do, and when it doesn't happen, we know how to hold them, you know, accountable. Another person who uh, I'd always loved from afar, and again, never met, I'm just like the audience, these are folks I wanted to meet. Yeah. Uh, the late Rex Nettleford. Okay. And uh, yeah. he's always been a, uh, uh, someone I, I've admired. As a matter of fact, Howard Dotson, the then director of the Schomburg, we first started, he and Rex Nettleford were very close friends, and, and uh, that was a way to bring the Schomburg even closer uh, to the series, though they have been our steadfast uh, partner in this. Uh, nice. The series could not happen 
without the support of the Schomburg. Okay. Uh, their yeah. cooperation, their guidance uh, has just been, what's well, been invaluable. Uh, and so we have been uh, blessed by, by that association. But from the names I mentioned, you can see that the quality of our speakers yeah. uh, have been the best of the best. And Diana McAuliffe is right into that mold. And, yeah. and, and again, I usually haven't met the speakers face to face except in passing until they arrive here. So I'm looking yeah. forward to meeting her and sitting down and hearing okay. what she has to say. And I, I'm confident that what she has to say is not only going to benefit those concerned about local, cons local issues in Jamaica, mm -hmm. but, you know, the topics that she is passionate about relate to all of us everywhere. Yeah. Protecting yeah. the environment is a global concern. Yeah. And yeah. it is a local concern wherever you are. And all of us can do a part uh, to protect the environment because all of our environments are connected. We, 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 we live on one planet. Yeah. And we are connected through that so that uh, when the air is bad in one locale, soon you will have that same experience. The clouds and the winds will move it around. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> so she's going she's gonna to open, open our eyes and hopefully engage us in a way that we, we will leave her talk knowing how to engage in action to make the environment globally a better place and to protect it for our children. It's safe to say the 13 years history with CIA and Sharbrook Center it's a success. It has been a huge success and it's been unique. Uh, there really has not been any other ongoing presentation by Caribbean intellectuals uh, anywhere in America. There are always things that happen during Caribbean, Amer Caribbean American Month, Black History Month. You get, you know, but th those are one shot, you know, opportunities, one shot occasions. Uh, for us, it's a part of who we are, it's part of our DNA. We'll, we'll be doing this as, as, as long as we can. Join us for the next CIN lecture. Our speaker is going to be Diana McCauley, the founder and executive director of the Jamaica Environmental Trust, an organization that is dedicated to preserving the environment of Jamaica and preserving it for our children's future. Join us November 15, 7 p.m. at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture. In the kitchen, man. In the kitchen, they're telling us to turn up, turn up this week. You know who we have performed tonight? Oh, Elder Barge, man. And listen, man, you know this brother, man. This brother has whole school, and he's gonna be pulling down tonight. Inside BB King, in the kitchen, Ziggy Bless, and you know your boy is already. I'm gonna be turning it up on the stove. We're gonna be cooking tonight. Listen, a bourbon steak with a white wine and a red wine sauce. It's gonna be problem. So listen, keep it locked right here in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Tonight, I'm making something simple and something real nice and something the guys will like and the ladies will like. So right now, I'm doing a bourbon steak tonight and it's gonna be served with a chimichurri tomato, red wine sauce, it's gonna be simple and easy. So, any steak that you like, you can use any steak, but I'm using a nice lean cut. Nice lean cut right here, filling, filling McNaught, you know what we call it. This is what the girls like to order when you go. And I'm doing a blackened. I'm doing a blackened with some blackened season. I already have it already pre-marinated, so that's why you see that season on it. Pre-marinated, a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt to keep this bad boy nice. I'm gonna go right here. Got you up. You're the inner of the kitchen. So because you're the inner of the kitchen, you have to swimming with stuff like this. Put it right on the black skillet. Let them steer right there so. And while that steer right there so, now go with a little bit of oil right on the skillet. Keep it real simple. A little bit of butter. I can see it right this one going down. A little bit of butter. I'm going to go with a little bit of garlic. Nice. A little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic. All right. And then I'm going to come right over here now. Right now, my tomato sauce is easy. Easy. It's just tomato and some onion, caramelized with a red wine. A little bit of thyme, just let it marinate down. All 
right? Nice. Easy. And then I'm gonna go with my red wine. And pour a little bit of my red wine in it. And let that bad boy burn up down a little bit. All right, nice, simple. And I'm gonna come over here and flip over my steak knives. Look at that. Look at that, nice and pretty. Nice and pretty, simple. I wanna just a little bit of the wine right over it. Just to give it some flavor while I'm cooking. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. You know your boys on the red. I go totally different. All right, nice flavor. The wine aroma just go right up inside of it. So when we come back, we're gonna go right into plating presentation. Keep it locked in at the kitchen. The line three is outside. The, the ladies in my screen right now. I wonder what Eddie Barger wants. Yo, Eldra Barger, listen man, the money I but the, the, the money of bad man stage and the money is all about the girls and all about love. And inside BB Kings, in at the kitchen, the money I gonna tear it down tonight. This is something just outside a while ago. I'm yeah. said the line gone down the block. Sell out. A real thing. They sell out. Everything sell out. Everything sell out. So make a see what I want with Eldra Barger. Take it to our next match, but nobody has ever seen or even tasted before. Yeah. Blue Mountain coffee cheesecake. Yeah. Straight up in a Blue Mountain. Mm -hmm. Straight up in a Blue Mountain source. Not on the corner store coffee thing. thing. Yeah. Straight yeah. in the hills of Blue Mountain. Mm -hmm. Alright? I do not think they would have won. Next level. This is our um, Blue Mountain coffee cheesecake. Again, it's a sourced coffee out of Blue Mountain. Okay. So, Jamaica. So, ready to try it? Of course. Alright, we are in the kitchen. All right. I'm gonna intrude, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> is it a cake though? Yeah. Cake, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Run coming up. Yeah. Love, right? Alright. So, okay. I'm gonna get in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm <laughs> pretty or I'm gonna get ice cream and cheese in one bite. And then I'm gonna introduce somebody special later, but we won't talk about that right now, so let's go. Mm. In all think? It's lovely. Let me hold you. Ooh, baby, can I touch you Oh, the next album, we finally gonna get it done. You know, I had a big change in my whole management staff and everything, so I'm kind of sitting back a little bit. But, um, back. Ready to do it. Back, ready to do it. Time is time and time again. Time is time and time again. 
Don't go away. New York's top 10 countdown is up next. Let's see which artist makes it to the number one spot. And remember, if you make it in New York City, you can make it anywhere in the world. Machine them dirty, but we are roll clean, clean, clean. Every girl a scream, Jenna them a roll in, dream team. Don't in there, and a dirty part. I'm wearing there, I'm pack it up hard. Don't in there, and a dirty part. You say I'm wearing there, and pack it up hard. Tell them what the strongest, so I just get the hardest fight. And on the realest people live the hardest life. Shake your bum 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 Work your bum bum Move your bum bum Me wanna know where you come from If you're single or if you have a husband If a beta or if you miss a gunman That are your real skin tone or your suntan Is that your natural hair or it custom? And now, the moment you have all been waiting for, come chat with me's number one video in New York City is the Marcos Noah Hala. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me, New York's number one Caribbean lifestyle magazine. Tune in each and every Sunday at 6 p.m. right here on CIN. See you next week. What?